Hello, this is Dr. Iatros and I am on a mission to help doctors free themselves from the tyranny of their EMR. Today we're going to look at a way to automate a Wender Utah rating scale for attention deficit disorder. You may be familiar with the uh, WURS or Wender Utah rating scale for ADHD. It's a retrospective diagnostic scale uh, for the diagnosis of ADHD. It's uh, 61 questions, but not all of them are rated. This uh, helps improve reliability and uh, specificity. Now, uh, only these 25 questions are rated. Now, it's really easy to give the patient uh, a paper copy for them to fill it out, but uh, rating it is uh, quite labor intensive because you have to somehow uh, cross-reference these cells and add them up. The maximum score is 100, so anything above 46 um, is a positive uh, result. So today we're going to look at how to automate this process so you can either email a link to the patient or give them, or give them a computer or a tablet for them to fill it out. We're going to look at how to automatically score the questionnaire as well. So the first thing we're going to do is to come here over to Google Forms. For you to have a HIPAA compliant version of it, you need to have G Suite with a business associate agreement signed, which I do have. So we click on blank. I'll start with the title. I don't like writing in the title that it is a scale for the diagnosis of uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. I feel like um, just telling the patient that they're going to fill out a generic questionnaire uh, improves the reliability a bit. Here in the form description, we're going to add some instructions for the patient. So here I picked uh, the, the age bracket of 4 to 12 years old because with the current DSM-5 criteria, we need to have seen ADHD symptoms until the age of 12. Some patients complain that it is hard to remember that far back, but um, most patients can do a good job at this. Now here in Google Forms, the default is for a multiple choice question, but the type of data that will most likely resemble our scale is the multiple choice grid. Here we're going to be able to add the main question, all the rows, and all the four columns. I'll start with the columns because that's the, the easiest part. Now to not have to type all of this, so the easiest way to do it is to come here to the top and drag. Now I come back here to my spreadsheet or to my form rather and just press Ctrl V. And we can do the same for the other questions, medical problems and as a child in school I was or had. So we're going to repeat this process. Select the multiple choice grid. And come back here and we can just select this and copy it here. And once more for the last section of the form. Multiple choice grid. Now we select the last section, copy and paste. Now I know the numbers don't match here, but that doesn't matter because in the end we'll have um, Google Sheets or Excel um, calculate the final result. If you'd like, you can break it into different sections, but um, for simplicity, I'll just uh, leave, the, uh, leave it in one page. Now you could even break it down in different sections or even have each page be a separate question, but for simplicity I'll just keep it in a single page. If you want to make sure that people answer every single question, you can activate this button here, require response in each row. Same thing here, require response, and same thing here. That way you avoid people uh, skipping questions.
Now there's two things that this form is missing. I want to know who filled it out. So we need to add name and date of birth. Google automatically chooses short answer as the type. I'm gonna say it's required. And one more question, date of birth. And Google automatically chooses date, it's required. I need to move these two questions to the top. And there you are. The next step is to associate this form with a spreadsheet where your data is going to reside and where you're going to calculate the result. So for that we click here the green icon, Google automatically chooses the same name for the spreadsheet and we click on create. Now you have a spreadsheet with the timestamp when the person filled it out, their name, date of birth and everything else. Now when you finally want to send the form to your patient, you can click on send, type their email here and send it to them. You can also copy the link here or you can embed the form into your website and ask them to visit it so they can fill it out there. In our next video, we're going to make the spreadsheet calculate the form score automatically. See you soon.